Today we're going to be talking about a wonderful work by Maestro Francisco Toledo. Uh, this is a really, really special piece. Uh, it's a watercolour with pen and ink on paper. It's a very large format uh, for works on paper. Usually his works on paper were uh, usually about 9 by 13 inches or 11 by 15 inches. So this is um, really a much, much larger piece. It's got a really wonderful, surreal kind of primordial quality. A wonderful kind of sexual energy in the piece. Uh, when we see really, uh, obviously, the penis in the, mo in the water, but the boat, again, is fashioned in the shape of a vagina. And then the woman in the boat, obviously, the vagina echoes a larger shape of the, uh, of the boat. Uh, so this wonderful kind of primordial nuance um, almost kind of spiritual in this piece and what adds to that feeling is this kind of strange angle that it's painted from. It's almost like the artist is kind of taking a bird's eye view and looking down. Uh, so then again, to a certain extent relatively simple but complex as well. And we have the water, what with the earth and the sky, uh, the woman in the boat, and again, obviously, the, the sexual kind of connotation uh, between the, the, the fish and the, uh, and the woman in the boat. It's important to understand that Toledo is, without doubt, was, when he was still alive, uh, Mexico's most important artist. But he always resisted doing major museum shows in the United States. And I know for a fact that many major museums over the last couple of decades approached Toledo to do major museum shows in the United States, which he never did, he always refused. I'm not quite sure the reasons why. Um, my feeling is that he maybe got overwhelmed, uh, that he doesn't like bureaucracy. Um, um, all his energies were put into his artwork and working with um, uh, the, the less fortunate people of Oaxaca, where he did a lot of, a lot of work there. And this comes from a fantastic um, collection. It's originally from um, Gallery Juan Martin, Toledo's sister, Graciela Toledo, is and was a director of um, Juan Martin. So it went to just one collector after that and then to me. Uh, the collector had many, pe many pieces by Toledo. Uh, one he sold to his large oil paint that he ended up selling to um, the Natasha Gelman collection, which is one of the most famous collections of, um, of Mexican art in Mexico.